Hello? I'm Artifacts of Mars. And I don't know if you've heard the story. It's gone viral on the internet. Irving Man goes viral for being kind to Muslims. His name is Justin Norman. Oddly, I heard this guy talking. It sounds like a Yankee. It's supposed to be from uh, Texas. Uh, I will show you his Facebook page in a short. Uh, this guy stood outside a mask in Irvine, Irving and held up a sign saying, You belong, stay strong, be blessed. There he is. By the way, he doesn't normally wear that cowboy hat by his own admission. But whatever. I checked this guy out and he seems to be legit, as near as I can tell. There were some red flags, but... Uh, all my investigation seems to indicate the this guy is for real. At any rate, uh, this this guy is a liberal, and more like the old style bleeding heart liberal than anything else. So I thought I would address him. Uh, myself. Now we're going to take a look at his Facebook page. Justin Norman, I'm the Texan who held the You Belong sign in front of the mosque in Irving. I've had the most extraordinary weekend like most everyone I know. I've been in a blaze and at a loss since election day. What to do with myself, with my time? Make things better or just slide through? Well, excuse me, sir, I voted for Donald Trump, and I am tickled pink that he's in there. I made a sign shop, and I, and so I had had the urge for a week or so to do this. Friday, I had a couple of spare hours in the afternoon, so I did. I made a sign, and I drove to the nearest mosque and stood outside the pu public sidewalk, shared a piece with my neighbors, my marginalized Fearful, decent, targeted Muslim nature neighbors. Targeted? Somebody took a picture and posted it, and as of today, it's been viewed millions of times and shared across various platforms many hundreds of thousands of times. This is extraordinary and humbling, mainly because I didn't, what I did or isn't or shouldn't be all that extraordinary. Uh, for that, well, that I agree with you, uh, Mr. Norman. So, it, you know, I was talking, I wasn't about to demonstrate my outrage for right-wing drivers driving down Esther's Road in front of the mosque. I can never, will never change any of the haters. It's not about them, nor, not this time, not here. Uh, we're not haters, for the most part, uh, Mr. Norman. Let me explain something to you. Islam has been at war with the world ever since it existed. Look up your history, Mr. Norman. I, I realize that you probably are well-meaning. This is what I'm uh, thinking, looking at you. But you don't seem to understand something. They've been at war with the world ever since they existed. Ever since there was an Islam, it's been at war. Kill the infidels. Uh, this was about binding up the wound, about showing compassion and empathy for the hurting and fearful among us. Or uh, in some Christian traditions, this was about washing my brother's feet. You don't seem to uh, care much for reaching out for those of us who are fearful what we see happening. Some of us are uh, quite convinced that we have a military force moving into this country that could attack us from within, Mr. Norman.
Targeting people for their religion not only threatens our way of life, it's the polar opposite of our way of life. Well, we're not just talking about religion, we're talking about political, religious uh, union. It's a theocracy. And the biggest part of it that needs to go is called Sharia law, Mr. Norman. I can assure you from their outpouring of smiles, hugs, tears, hospitality, and messages extending God's loves and bouquet of flowers, it will mean a lot. My own religious tradition ascribes these words to my deity. I was hungry, you gave me food, I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in, and so on and so forth. Uh, Mr. Norman, now I can't fault you for going and being kind to the Muslims. Who can fault you for that? I can't fault you for being a nice person and saying, you know, We'd love to be your friends. We uh, respect you as people, so on and so forth. Who can fault you for that? Certainly not I. But you're going to have to understand there is a problem with Islam. They, uh, we've had many, many attacks in this country from Islam. We just had one. Uh, where was that? Uh, my brain's, uh, much right now, it's 12, 13 a.m. We just had that one on a college campus, and I can't remember where. At any rate, so Mr. Norman, so, I realize you're, you're probably good and well-intentioned. You probably don't understand what Islam means in many cases. Now, I don't go and harass any Muslims. I've seen them before. Uh, I don't really, haven't really interacted with a lot of them, but I'm not going to go and harass anybody because of their religion. That's not the point. But we're not having any problems with any major problems with any other religion other than Islam? Why is it always Islam? Mr. Norman, sir, we have uh, Buddhists, Shintos, Sikhs, you name it. And by and large, they all live side by side with people and are generally, everything's pretty benign. But we have these Muslims that are just, we have one terror attack after another, and almost all of them come from Muslims. What am I supposed to think? <sighs> Mr. Norman, sir, the other thing is, I wonder why it is that uh, I'm not able to post on your wall. Or I might have uh, just said something there. Mr. Norman, sir, you're well-intentioned. You're probably a really nice guy. I respect you. I respect you for your beliefs, but you're going to have to wake up to the fact that we do have a problem. I don't want to be mean to you. I can't fault you, unfortunately. I look at you, I see somebody who has, who's well-intentioned, and probably a lot, most people think you uh, did a great thing. And I'm not going to argue with that. I'm not going to say anything negative about what you're doing. But please, Mr. Norman, for your own sake, educate yourself as to what's going on. Please. We do have problems, and this religion 
needs to reform itself pretty seriously. They have to get rid of Sharia law. They have to start treating women like uh, first-class citizens, so on and so forth. And we cannot flood this country with Muslims because we know what's going to happen. Once you reach a certain percentage, you have major problems. It's a fact. It's a known fact. Well, that's all. Uh, you know, rock on or whatever. I think this guy is means well. I think he's well-intentioned. I don't think he's a bad person. I can't fault him for being nice to the Muslims, but he's got to learn. I want to fax of Mars. I approve of this message. Thank you very much.